This episode of Boot Camp is presented by EA Game Changers. Hi, my name is Shadox and welcome to Battlefield 5. This video will show you the ins and outs of the Assault class their weapons, gadgets, roles, and more. Whether you are a Battlefield veteran or someone who is just starting out with the franchise, my goal is to teach you something new. Let's get started by taking a look at the weapons available to the Assault class. When you first load into Battlefield, your starting weapon for the Assault class will be the Sturmgewehr 1-Tac-5. This assault rifle has a high rate of fire at 670 rounds per minute with a detachable 21 round magazine. It deals fairly standard damage and will require between 4 and 5 bullets to kill. The starter weapon will have specializations already equipped, so that no matter when you start playing, you will be able to hold your own against players who have already progressed through the classes. The specializations that come installed focus on the reduction of recoil and improved accuracy. In order to select new specializations, like hipfire spread improvements, you will need to reset the customization and progress with the weapon to unlock them again. At Assault Rank 1, you will unlock the Gewehr 43, a hard-hitting semi-automatic rifle that can take down enemies in only three shots. This weapon is extremely accurate with very little recoil, which makes it an excellent choice for those mid to long range engagements. Next up, at rank 5, you'll unlock the M1A1 Carbine, another self-loading rifle with a 16 round detachable magazine. This weapon doesn't have quite the same damage at range as the Gewehr 43, but it makes up for that in increased rate of fire. Recoil on the carbine is virtually non-existent, so it can still be viable in those close quarter engagements. At rank 8, you'll unlock the M1907 SF, a weapon returning from Battlefield 1, but behaves nothing like it. This assault rifle has a rate of fire of 770 rounds per minute, the fastest in class, and boasts an extremely quick time to kill. Be warned that this weapon is difficult to control, and mastery will take some time. It has a fairly small magazine at only 16 rounds, so you will find yourself reloading fairly often. The next weapon you'll unlock is the Turner SMLE, a semi-automatic rifle with a faster fire rate than the Gewehr 43, but slower than the M1 carbine. You'll unlock this rifle at Assault Rank 10. At Rank 13, you'll unlock possibly the most iconic German weapon from World War II, the Sturmgewehr 44. It's the slowest firing assault rifle available at launch, but don't let that fool you. This thing is a powerhouse and usable in all ranges. The last two weapons available at launch are both semi-automatics the Selbstlaughter 1917 at rank 16, and the Gewehr 1-Tac-5 at level 20. As you can imagine, these weapons suit a wide variety of ranges. The assault rifles can be used up close and in the mid-range, and the semi-automatics can be used all the way out into long-range combat. While some of you may prefer the automatic ability of the assault rifles, don't ignore the semi-automatics. I was finding that the Gewehr 43 was especially viable in all scenarios. All you have to do to unlock these weapons is play with the Assault class, and you can specialize each weapon after ranking that weapon up by using it. Moving on to the gadgets, we can separate them into two categories, placed and launched explosives. Placed gadgets like the Sticky Dynamite and AT Mine can be thrown to set a trap, or can be used aggressively on an unsuspecting tank. The Sticky Dynamite also proves as a good anti-infantry weapon, and can be thrown over walls or into buildings to root out hiding enemies. Launched weapons include the Panzerfaust, Frag Grenade Launcher, and the Piot Launcher. The Grenade Launcher is really only useful against infantry, and is best used by launching it into a confined space. The Panzerfaust and Piot Launcher can be used to take out vehicles or infantry from a distance. The Panzerfaust does fly faster and further than the Piot, but deals a lot less damage. Keep in mind that where you hit the vehicle with these explosives matter. You can hit the tracks to slow them down, hit the turrets to disable it, or, if you can, try to sneak behind the tank and shoot from the rear. There's a lot less armor there and you will do significantly more damage. You will start out at launch with the Panzerfaust and Dynamite already unlocked. The rest will become available to you as you rank up your assault class. The Grenade Launcher at rank 4, AT Mine at rank 6, Bundle Grenade at rank 9, and the Piot Launcher at rank 11. Keep in mind that this list only covers what is available at launch and not the future content that will be released through the live service. 
Future weapons and gadgets released through the tides of war will be unlocked through the chapter special assignments. But when I spoke to Ryan MacArthur in Stockholm, he's the DICE producer for engagement and core gameplay, he did mention that there is a possibility that they would expand the class rank system to include more weapons and gadgets. What that might entail, I don't know yet, but we will find out eventually. One final aspect to the assault class is the combat roles. Currently, there are two. One focuses on being an anti-infantry player called Light Infantry, and this grants you an increased amount of health regeneration and the ability to loot more ammunition off of a dead body. The second combat role is called Vehicle Buster. Whenever you damage a vehicle, it will become spotted to everyone on your team. And when you destroy a vehicle, your squad will gain more points to be used on call-ins like the V1. Starting next week, I will be releasing my first weapon guide and review, going over the best specializations for each weapon and how each weapon is usable and viable. But for now, just play the class and pick specializations and weapons that you enjoy or that you feel would benefit you the most. Thank you guys for watching, my name is Shadox and I hope to see you on the battlefield.